Meanwhile, on board the International Space Station, a NASA astronaut just reached a historic milestone. Frank Rubio was supposed to be home six months ago, but there was an issue with his ride home. CNN's Kristen Fisher explains. And lift off. A few weeks before NASA astronaut Frank Rubio launched to the International Space Station with two cosmonauts on a Russian Soyuz rocket, I spoke with him about the geopolitical tensions that he'd be leaving behind on Earth. Did you ever have any second thoughts about flying on a Russian Soyuz in the middle of this uh, conflict with Ukraine? Uh, you know, again, not, not really, because I do, I trust my crew wholeheartedly. If anything, right, there's a little bit of nerves about the whole big picture of, of going to space for the f first time, spending six months up there. But six months quickly turned into a full year after his ride home, the Soyuz spacecraft, was struck by a small object in space puncturing the Soyuz's radiator and spewing coolant into space. A stream of particles. Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, decided the spacecraft was unsafe and a replacement Soyuz would need to be sent to bring the crew home. For Rubio, who was on his first space flight and had just become the first Salvadoran American to go to space, it meant being away from his wife and four children for double the time that he'd been preparing for. If you had known at the time you launched, that you were going to be up in space for a full year instead of six months. Would you have still done it? Yeah, hey, Kristen, it's uh, good to talk to you again. I think it would have depended on when I would have found out. Um, obviously, if, um, if they had asked me up front before you start training, because you do train for um, a year or two years for your mission, um, I probably would have declined. And that's only because of family uh, things that were going on this past year. And had I known that I would have had to miss those uh, very important events, I, I just would have had to say uh, thank you, but no thank you. Uh, but once you commit to the mission, once you're part of the training, I, I would have been committed to the mission. By the time Rubio returns to Earth next week, he will have been in space for 371 days, longer than any other American in history. Three spacewalks conducted dozens of science experiments, but perhaps the most interesting experiment for this army doctor turned astronaut is the one that zero gravity has been conducting on his own body. The reality is we're not standing, we're not walking, uh, we're not bearing our own weight, and so it'll be a f anywhere from two to six months before I essentially say that I feel normal. And normal is exactly what Rubio's craving, spending time with his family and time outside these walls on Earth. Up here, we kind of have the, the constant hum of uh, machinery that's keeping us alive. And so I'm looking forward to just being outside and uh, enjoying the peace and quiet. Sacrifices for science. Rubio still shy of the world record for time in orbit. That record belongs to a Russian cosmonaut who logged 437 continuous days. That was in the 90s.